all right welcome back and if you're new here welcome so as mentioned last time i was going to show you how to create um page clips or bookmarks like this one here using cricut now i am a new user to cricut so whatever it is that i'm going to be showing you here I mostly learned from watching YouTube and by basically just, you know, playing with the software itself. Um, like I mentioned before too, I when I ordered this Cricut machine, I went ahead and downloaded the design space already, even if I didn't have the machine yet. So I could just go and make a feel for it and see what I can do um, design-wise. So when you first create your Cricut Design Space account. It's going to show you here. It's going to prompt you to actually create an account, which I did. Um, and now I am going to go ahead and click home here. I'm going to create a new project. It's over here. Okay. I guess it just takes a while. My computer is old. All right. So, okay. So what I wanted to do is to first upload the image. Okay. Now the image that I already created, actually, I got it. I, uh, sorry, I used Procreate to create it. And basically I just, it was just my own doodle and I turned it into like a PNG art. So that's what I'm going to be downloading now. So here it is. Um, as you can see, it gives you the option of selecting the image type. From what I learned and from what I experienced, I tried clicking on simple before, but what, what it did for me was it didn't give me like a dot of the I or a single letter. It missed it. So what I ended up doing from then on was just pick complex just to make sure that I would have the images that I wanted from my upload. That it's not going to miss anything at all. All right, so let me just zoom out of here a bit. Here's my design, and here is the the time where you can actually still erase anything that you don't want to be a part of your drawing or your upload. Like let's say there's some white parts in here somewhere, you can just go ahead and click on erase, and it's going to erase that for you. Okay. So since this image is one I wanted and it's perfect, I'm okay with it. I'm happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and click on continue. And then for here, it's going to ask me to say what kind of file do I want to save it as. Do I want to save it as a save, um, save as a print then cut file or just a cut image. So the, the print then cut image is what I'm going to be picking because this is a brand new image that I created and I need it to be printed into like a cardstock before I can turn it into a page clip. So that's what I'm going to pick. But if you just wanted to do like on a vinyl kind of thing and you just wanted to save it as a cut image because then you're just going to be transferring it to somewhere else. But for me, since I want to use it as a page clip, that's what I'm going to click. All right, then go ahead and save. And you can see that my image is already there. Okay, I'm going to click on that and say insert image. Takes a while again. Okay, so once your image is ready, I'm going to go ahead and move that up a bit. Unlock it so I can play with the size. And by the way, if you don't have Procreate, it's um you can always just go ahead and use some free software, um like online. I know that Canva is a free software, um although it also offer you to like a paid subscription and it's just gonna give you more features. But it's I've been using it as free and it's been working fine. And you can create your own clips in there as well. It's just that I wanted to use Procreate because I wanted to use my own handwriting and I don't have to worry about, you know, the copyright things and everything else. So that's what I did in here. And now since I have that, I'm just going to I'm going to make it like this size for now just so we can see what we're doing here. So, another thing that I learned since this this Cricut machine is a 
cutting machine, right? So I was wondering if, is there a way that I can just cut like a slit through here? I couldn't find it in here. So what I ended up doing is a, since I wanted to do a page clip, right? Since I wanted to do that, I wanted to find a way where I can put like just a cut in here. And if I click on here, I have this option in the line type that says cut. Yeah, sure, it's gonna it's just gonna cut it, yes. But I want I want to it's gonna cut the rectangle, yes, but I want a cut inside as well, because I'm I wanted to make a slit for it to be a page clip. So what I ended up doing is to add a text and I typed in underscore. Like a bunch of them. Okay, and then, yeah, I have to play with this font size here because for some reason I haven't <laughs> updated my default settings in there. But anyways, I am going to lessen the space in there so it doesn't look like a dashed line. I wanted it to look more condensed, like overlap, like touching each other. Uh, that looks good. Okay, so looking at this, I can see that from using the text box, there is an option for you to pick curve, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick curve. Uh, like that. Oops. And then click on it. And then place it here. Okay, here, I am going to just move that over here. Just play with your sizing in there. Okay, I'm going to select them all. You just click and drag to your, to your drawing. And then on the lower right over here, you're going to see that there's a button that says slice. And you want to click on that. Okay, and then now, <laughs> I thought my drawing disappeared. It's like, what did I do? Okay, no, uh, I just gonna need to move this and you're gonna see that there is this, the slice tool and the one that it sliced. It's gonna delete all those. All right. So now, since it has been sliced, I can resize this. To the size I want. Oops, I forgot. You have to unlock that before you can resize it properly. Just the... Uh, just the size where you think it's good enough to have that on there. Okay, and then I am going to lock that thing again. I'm just gonna make like three more. So copy and paste it. And I also found out that uh, you don't even have to, you know, fix this because once you hit make it, the Cricut itself is going to actually space it out for you. Okay, so here is your paper eight and a half by 11. And that is the, the size that you have. Okay, I'm gonna hit on cancel for that just because I wanted to make more different designs. Like I'm gonna add to this, but do the same thing. So I'm gonna create like a slice on there using the text tool and then here let's do another one i am going to do this one here this was the one that was included in my other video okay this was also created using um procreate Okay, so the same thing, I am going to add a text and the underscore. Okay. 
Okay, change that to let's say forty. And then space them just so they're touching each other. Yeah, looks okay to me. Okay, and then we hit on the curve. And then curve it out again. Nah, that's a bit too much. Maybe like that. Okay. You can always... Oops, there we go. You can always resize it like that. Just trying to move this here. Hey, come on. Right. So obviously it's too big. Wanted to do like that. Oops. Oh, okay. We can move this instead. <laughs> All right. All right, so, okay, let's say I'm happy with that. And then you're going to select both of them again. So click and drag from up there just to, 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 to select all the elements that you have inside. And then once again, the slice button is going to appear. Hey, okay, click on that. And then it disappears. No, I'm kidding. Okay, it's going to cut it. And then you can delete these guys here. So don't need those anymore. Hey, okay, so now you made another one. And I'm also going to size it up. Like just a small one there. And then I'm going to uh, make three more copies. Just the same as that one. And then to preview it to see if um, my spacing is correct. Ish. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to hit cancel. Let's add one more. Since I know that that's the last thing I copied, I can still paste it one more time. And make it. Right, that's better. All right, and now it is asking for you. I've already gone ahead and printed the images that I wanted. And it's asking you now to select your material where you're going to be cutting from. And I want to say cardstock. And then for the pressure, I am not going to play with that yet because I wanted to see how well it would cut by being a default because this is a new machine and I don't know if I should apply less or more pressure for it. So I just left it like that and it's asking you to load the fine point blade which is already on there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that arrow, the blinking arrow. And now it's the cricket light is lighting up. Go ahead and try and do that. And now it's scanning it and it's looking for the registration marks. Let's see. It's going to go ahead and do it. 